Well, tonight's project, I am going to take apart my forward head. $130 on toilet gaskets. Here's to being a boat owner. First up, we have this paper gasket that is what the pump is mounted to the base plate on. This is a joker valve. I've also heard it called a duck beak valve. The hardest to find was this little skipjack rebuild kit. Super simple instructions. Oh, and one more thing here. I was turned on to this Biotol Marine product. This is essentially a biological digester that helps keep the organic buildup down and all that gray or gross stuff that was clogging up and building up on the joker valve and the skip valve. This should help mitigate that. Here you can see the green tarnish built up from the leaking water. What you see at the base of this gasket is a buildup of calcium deposits called scale, which is essentially a plaque composed of minerals and salts from your urine and the seawater that accumulate over time. There are two problems that I'm trying to solve here. The first is to replace the leaking gaskets that are allowing seawater to come in and cause corrosion on the bronze base of the toilet. And the second is to remove all the plaque buildup that is impeding the ability for the valves to close completely, allowing for wastewater to come slowly back into the toilet. You can see me here pulling the toilet apart, and I am scrubbing down everything as much as I can. Trust me, I went through a ton of bleach. Just so happened that the toilet gods have blessed us with this beautiful day here in Seattle. Here you can see some buildup of all that plaque and organic material. There is also plenty of it in the base of the toilet. And this is what I'm going to be focused on cleaning out today. I will also try to be removing some of this green corrosion with some wire brushes and polishing up the bronze. And while I had the toilet out for cleaning, I took the opportunity to clean up the floor of the head, do some sanding, and apply a fresh coat of paint. So I've been working on this project for several weeks now, trying to chase down all these different odd and end parts of the Wilcox toilet. Marine sanitation didn't have everything I needed. This toilet's been discontinued for some time. And here I am installing it, and I noticed something that I thought I saw from digging through all kinds of odd end drawers on the boat from, I don't know, a year or two ago. Sure enough, didn't I find all the old gasket materials? They've been used, but they look like they're still in working condition. After all that running around trying to collect the parts, turns out that I had some on board already, just hidden away in a random drawer, which is annoying, but pretty cool we found the duct valve. That is the actual Wilcox part. So now I'm debating, do I install the used one or should I use the, the new one that we put together and see if we can use that extra O-ring to form a seal? Part of the magic of an old boat is a whole bunch of random parts that you use sometimes, and this is a case where I can use them. All right, so how do one of these toilets work? If you're just pushing back and forth with this lever, the only thing that happens is waste comes out and then up this pipe. If you push down this foot pedal here, what it does is open a valve for the water inlet. So the water comes in through this hose here into the back of the unit. As long as you have this lever depressed, water will come up and on the backstroke as you're sucking water down from the bowl it is also pushing water up this pipe and this will eventually connect to the back of the bowl and push water down the toilet just like your toilet you have at home it'll rinse the bowl and push out and so when the foot pedal is depressed you have water both coming into the bowl and then out through the base and the outlet and then when you take your foot off the foot pedal then it's just simply pumping out The spring keeps the gasket closed, and then when there's waste to go through, it pushes down the spring and all the waste goes into the body of the toilet. Here comes the porcelain throne. 
Here's the freshwater inlet. Moment of truth. And you can also see a little bit of debris from the salt plaques uh, build up still in the interior of the toilet that's just coming out. With All right, that's it for now. And did a lot of hugging an old toilet. So glad to be done with this project. Now I'm gonna go shower. <laughs>